screams. Something hits me square in the chest. There's no up or down. I don't weigh a thing. I don't remember a thing. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. I've gone and done something again. Wish I could remember what. Up against the lot. Put me tools. Looks like trouble. Uh, looks like Christmas. You look lean and mean right now. You've, I've seen you uh, bulky, muscular. Now fat, you are fat. lean and muscular. Fat and lazy. No, not fat. I'm never fat. I would never describe you as fat. Of course, Dep I don't describe Dep myself as fat, so. Uh. <laughs> Dep depressed and fat. What do you do? You look good. What kind of exercise do you do? A lot of steroids. No, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I hear those are great. <laughs> uh, I'll never play third base for the Yankees. <laughs> Um, no, just, what are you, like uh, bench pressing your chihuahuas? What's going on? <laughs> How are the chihuahuas? Are they well? I've lost the whole litter, so I lost like eight. Oh, no. Yeah, well, they live to be 19, 18, 17, 16, so, you know. Was, oh, all right. I'm glad so I brought that up. Now I got a new... <laughs> yeah. you know. So well, I, eight, I lost eight in like six years, over a six-year period. But that's a very long time for a chihuahua to live, isn't it? Eighteen and a half is... is I, they live... Well, I was a shepherd guy, but they go about the backs, the, the hips start to go about, you know, 9, 10, 11, and I just got tired of losing them so quickly, the, sh the shepherd. Yeah. But, so I switched oh. over to the... What a lovely note I've started this interview on. Dog death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Not only are you uh, like a tough guy, but you hang around with tough guys, too. Yes? Am I correct on, in saying that? Probably talking about Biz Bing and Liddell and that crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is, that you hang around with other tough guys? So I don't have to fight when we go out drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing there with Michael, you know, the Count Bisbing, and it's like, you know... <laughs> he's I, a cage fighter, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. And now he's doing a lot of acting, and, and the, uh, he, he would have made a great James Bond. I mean, tough as <laughs> one cauliflowered ear. It would have been interesting. <laughs> because he is very handsome, and he's very uh, quick-witted, and... Uh, but I love it. We'll go out and he'll be on his 12th drink and it's like, ah, f mate. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. Well, nobody. I think nobody's going to him. Let's, you know. <laughs> because people do that weird thing where when they know you're a tough guy, they know you, you, you're a boxer. They'll come up and they'll and nudge you at the bar and then if you give somebody, a, you know, a left hook, it's half a million. Right. Is that what it's, that's what they're going for nowadays? Uh, it's about 200,000. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think, like, hmm, is this worth it? Yes, it is worth it. Well, I had a scumbag lawyer who would also charge 100000 on top of the... Excellent. Yeah, I got rid of him. You hit him? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> if you hit your lawyer, is that covered under attorney-client privilege? I don't know, but he's got three Ferraris, and I don't have any, so... Uh, <laughs> he's, he's doing something. Right. I bet you could take one of those from him if you really, really uh, wanted to. Do you live here in L.A., or you live in New York? I came out here about two and a half years ago to train for this rugby movie. I've been writing for about four and a half years about... Uh, uh, I based it on, uh, there's a whole bunch of different athletes that have come out in the last three or four years. Right. So I, did, I didn't want to do a boxing movie and I didn't want, you know, I can't play basketball, so I don't dribble very well. So and rugby. Rugby seemed to be the sport. And, uh, um, 
we've settled on that, and so it's taken about three years of steady training. Because I, I went into the locker room and I was looking at these guys, and um, I never saw such physical specimens as these these guys are. I mean, they were like at halftime, there were at least four guys getting stitched up, and one one young kid he was about 25. He was eating a ham sandwich. He had like a seven inch gash. And he's just eating the sandwich, and the doctor says, can you sit still? And I'm going, he's looked at him like the doctor was nuts. Like, he, had, <laughs> he does it every day. I thought, this is, and half of them had no teeth. And I went, well, I don't have my front teeth either. This is going to be great. Because <laughs> there's a scene where I'm in the bathtub with another guy. Uh -huh. And I have the teeth actually on the bathtub. Uh, the, you know. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> before we... there are some advantages to not having teeth. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like, although, you know, you're talking about having these run-ins with these guys, it seems like you handled the paparazzi very well. And I'll use some, I have some evidence of that. This is, I think... I'm not going to look. Good. No, well, no, no. I think, no, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, I think he was going on. Okay. Look, yesterday, you gotta get me Can I bother you for one quick second, man? You're going to have to go get me ice cream cone before I'll, I talk. I'll hook you up with an ice cream, <laughs> man. Ice cream cone, then I'll talk. All right. Can I ask you real quick, then hook you up? Any plate? Ice cream cone, then I'll talk. Yeah? Hey, will you really be here, man, if I do that for you? Yes. Rub out ice cream? <laughs> oh, I remember that. You got an ice cream, though. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> they don't really, I mean, I don't let them bother me. Really, yeah. You know, there's only one way they used to bother me, and that's, you know, when you... Sneaking around. Yeah. He's sneaking around. Yeah. You don't like to sneak I whispered around. that to you. And you know what? Yeah. If, if they. Well, oh, is it you sneaking well, around or I'm them? about you. Oh, oh, me sneaking yeah. around. Where am I sneaking around? I don't know. I, just, I heard things. Did you hear something? Yeah, I heard yeah. some stuff. Um, but. Um, <laughs> well, that's bad news for me. Yeah. But you did, uh, you did, well, you did get an ice cream cone, first of I all. I got a, a statue ice cream cone. So people just, just bring you gifts and you will speak uh, freely I'll to them. I'll say whatever they want me to say, Bonnie. <laughs> Feed me, you know. When we come back, you will see Mickey Rourke in Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. We'll be right back. <laughs> that is Mickey Rourke and Dennis Ginsburg in Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to have a fight scene with you. Because... Four years at the actor's studio for that. Right? <laughs> yeah, but you spent a lot of time in the ring for that, also. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 When you're fighting a guy like that, is it hard not to hit him? Uh, it, it's easier to get hit from the other person. To get hit, you're yeah, okay with yeah. being hit by the other person. No, no, no. It's that. It's easier for <laughs> that to happen. I see. Oh, yeah. it is easier for oh, that to happen. Oh, yeah. 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 And did that happen? That happened to this. I got he corked me. Yeah, first oh, he first punch, and he's a big dude. Yeah, Dennis, and he did a great job. And it was a, you know it was just a it, it, an accident. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> I just said, come on, keep it, keep it going. You know, we finished it out. And then the next, then uh, a couple months after the movie was over, I went to my dentist, and he said, because uh, I have all implants, and he said, you implants, how long ago did you get them in? I said, oh, about twenty years ago. And because uh, I don't have my two front teeth anyway. And uh, he said, well, you have to have the surgery redone because it's been 20 years and your teeth are going to fall out in your soup. And so I said, how much is it going to cost? And I said, oh, forget it. I'll, I'll let, the, let, the, <laughs> let the teeth fall out the soup. I don't get it. Uh, I said, so oh. <laughs> the last movie I did. I had a fight scene with a young kid. I just did a movie called Ashby in North Carolina. Okay. And it was a young kid, uh, really up and coming, good, really great actor, uh, Nate, Nate Wolf. Okay. So I'm thinking, I, I was watching him in the beginning, shaping up, and I'm going, I'm going to get hit in my new teeth. <laughs> All right? $110,000 worth. Oh, no, really? I go, so I said to the director, because I thought the guy they hired was a hack, right? Uh huh. A real hack. <laughs> and uh, they hired who they could get there. And I said to the director, I made him a deal. I said, here's the deal. You want to use this guy to choreograph the fight scene? Fine. He hits me in the mouth. I'm not going to hit him in the mouth. I'm going to come over and I'm going to knock seven of your teeth out. 
Excellent. So he brought in my guy, <laughs> and, and it went great. Because, you know, if you you get what you pay for. Right? Yeah, wow. Yeah. $110,000 for teeth. Well, no, I was talking about the, the hack that I know, I'm in. still stuck on the $110,000. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are rappers that have gold teeth that don't yeah. cost that much, oh, you know? Yeah. You said, uh, you, I think you told me once that you can't, you don't like to watch yourself on screen. Never. If you're wearing big prosthetics I like that? Mind. I don't mind. Then I don't mind. Then you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. Hey, when was the last time you did a comedy? <laughs> I don't know why that's we a joke. We haven't, we haven't no, because Diner been down was, that road. Diner was such a great movie, and I don't think you've done any since, since then, have you? You probably liked it better than I did. You didn't like Diner. That wasn't my thing. Oh. I didn't get the humor. Really? Really. Oh, it's funny. We should watch it. I'll well, the explain guys, it to you. The guys, <laughs> where I, John, the guys where I came from, we had a different sense of humor about what was funny. Uh-huh. Really? Know? Well, yeah. you were funny in it, though. We so you tie didn't... guys up, set them on fire, and piss on them. We thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so well, good. that's funny, too, in a different way. Yeah. It's more of a broad yeah, you know, kind of funny. I just didn't find all that middle class <laughs> funny. <laughs> When was the last time you saw it? Do you ever you, have you have you looked at it at all? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Twenty years ago. Yeah, it's. it's yeah. I don't know. I think you might like it if you looked at it again. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the DVD extras you could set someone on fire. <laughs> well, yeah. well, it's very good to see you. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for coming, Mickey Work, everybody. Sin City, a day in the kill for August twenty second. We will be right back.